Here's how to round numbers to the hundredth place or the thousandth place or whatever you need in Game Lab on code.org. So we'll start with an empty project and just make a variable called num and set it to zero. And then inside our draw loop, we are going to say num equals num plus 0 0.001. And then we will put that on the screen with a text block. So let's go ahead and throw a background in here. And we'll make the text a different color. We'll make the text size big enough for us to see it. And finally, the text block. Let's put it somewhere near the middle of the page. Let's check that. Okay, so we've got the word text. Let's make it bigger. All right, now we're going to take text out and the quotes out and put the value num so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so you can see there's a big number and we need to round it off. So we're going to use a block that doesn't exist, which is called math round. Now we don't have that in here, but it does exist. So right in here, we're going to say math with a capital M, round parentheses, and then put the value num inside of it. And what's going to happen is now we're rounding just the number zero. You know, you can't really see what's happening. So let's take, let's take uh, another one. Just put the regular num so you can see what's happening. We'll scoop this one down a little bit. So on top is our original number, and here is our rounding. It's going to be a little while, so I'll pause it and jump ahead. So now you can see whenever we get past 0.5, it's going to round up to 1. Well, that's not exactly what we want, but it's a step in the right direction. So here's what we're going to do. Since we don't want to cut off these two values, we're going to multiply num times 100 to move our decimal point over, and then we're going to round. So that'll look like this. Inside here, times 100. So you can see that this number is matching this number. Actually, we're getting both of these numbers, aren't we? So now what we need to do is move the decimal point back over. So I'm going to have to switch into text mode for this. And be outside the parentheses and multiply it, uh, divide it back by 100. So that means we're going to scoot the decimal over, round it, scoot the decimal right back. Like this. That's how you do it. And if you wanted to round to the thousandths place instead, you could uh, add a zero. Or if you just wanted to round to the tenths place, you could take off a zero like this. All right, there you go. That's rounding.